What's up guys, how's it going? So today, this video is just gonna be a quick little update on the Lanch. I know I said in one of my previous videos that the rebuild was canceled, but as all of you know, everybody has that group of friends that's a horrible influence on them and convinces them to do stuff that you never plan on doing in the first place. So basically, as you guys know, the motor has a tick and it's super annoying and it seems really bad. So my buddy Johnny, which I don't think I've showed in a video, I don't know if I have or not, and my buddy Nick and I, we are going to try and fix the lifter tick on the Lanch. Uh, we got a few plans or a few ideas on how to fix it, but if none of them work, we're just going to try replacing the lifters because it's like $100 for the lifters for this. And after that, we got some other plans for it, uh, which I'll mention sooner or later. But as you guys know, I don't know if I did a video on it. No, I didn't do a video on it. I replaced the head unit on the truck finally, so it doesn't have the touchscreen anymore. I got this head unit here, it's like the Kenwood, I don't know the exact, oh, the DPX 53, or the 530BT. Comes with iHeartRadio, Pandora, Bluetooth, AUGS, USB, all that lovely jazz. Got it from Walmart for like 150 bucks, and it, seems, it works pretty good so far. It has negative, it goes up to negative 50 for base, and then plus 10 for base. So it's a decent range, and it, with three subwoofers in the truck, it hits really hard. So, basically with the Lanch rebuild, part, re, do, like restart, I'm not touching the interior that I know of yet. I might get the seat redone on the driver's side, but other than that, it's gonna be mainly exterior. I wanna try to do like a sponsor build, so I'm going to try and reach out to some companies, or if some companies are watching this, uh, definitely hit me up on Instagram. I will put my screen name for Instagram down in the box, or in the description of this video, or I'll put it like right here somewhere. And uh, basically, I'm trying to do, uh, well, right, as of right now, the plans are fix the motor, do a little bit of uh, performance parts added to it, I want to do a new cold air intake because I hate this advanced idle special one. So I'll probably do like a K&N cold air intake. Uh, I want to do an off-road bumper. I want to do I, like a moderate size lift kit, maybe like a four inch lift because I'm already on a two and a, I think a two and a half inch zone leveling kit. So I definitely want to go with like a four inch lift kit. I think it will look really good. Then on the off-road bumper, I'm going to do a winch, uh, some pods. I don't know if I want to do like a full uh, brush guard or if I want to just do like a push bar. Um, then in the rear, I'm doing a 2015 Silverado bumper because it bolts right up from like oh or 99 to oh yeah something like that. 99 to 15 all bolted up to like 04 because it's all like the same uh, brackets. So I'm gonna do that. Damn it. And then uh, I'm going to do new wheels and tires for summertime. And then I'm going to keep the steelies that are on here. And no, they're not uh, trailer tires like somebody said in the comments before. I got the stock silver out of steelies on. I'm going to keep those as just uh, winters. I'll end up putting new tires on them because these ones are at like 50% 50, 50 tread left. And I'd rather just have it. I'm probably just going to get the same tires because they're for a decent price. So I'll probably just go with that. And then I want to do like a 18 by 9 with like a negative 12 millimeter offset from Anthem. I think it'll look pretty good. Wrap that around in a 33, maybe a 34. I don't know what I can squeeze in the lift kit. Um, and I want to do a stage one cam, three inch straight pipe. I want, I'm trying to get the uh, 2006 Silverado grill right now and a 2006 uh, hood because they have a bigger cowl. And, uh, and then I'm going to do more lights. I'm going to do possibly a new radiator. And 
I don't know. Some other stuff. I know I'm painting the door or the body. I'm getting the clear coat fixed. I'm painting the frame, resealing the rear axle. So yeah, I always said I was gonna get rid of this, but it's been a good truck to me, so I might as well give it what it deserves and give it a nice little fresh facelift. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do new headlights too. I wanna do some, uh, I don't know if I wanna do halos or I'm just gonna tint them with the LED uh, bulbs that I have. And then I'm probably gonna do LED tails, put more pods on the back with the new bumper. And then, yeah. And hopefully one day, which I don't know if it's gonna be by the end of this year or be getting an extra, God damn it, phone. I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna do another drift car build. Right now I'm looking at uh, the E36 M3s. I've found a few of them for like around four grand. I kind of want to pick one up. So I'm going to possibly do the uh, sticker sales. Like you, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw the new sticker designs. Uh, not the first ones with the just font, but the fancy ones with like the mountain and it says Crazy Rat Customs going on. I'll probably do that. I'm thinking of selling them at like $4 a piece. So if you guys are interested in those stickers, damn it. Uh, definitely do let me know down in the comments because I would, I think it would be a really good idea to start selling those. Especially since I want to do like, get like the Crazy Rat brand out there more. I'm not going to go full out like t-shirts and hats and whatnot. I'll probably just stick small like stickers and whatnot. I talked to Strange Planet about them. They're on board to make them for me. Uh, I just got to see how many people are actually interested in before I go and dish out the money for these stickers and then get stuck with 50 stickers that nobody's going to buy and I just lose $70 on stickers. Uh, I will end up doing a giveaway also. I think I mentioned it before. I'm going to do a uh, light bar giveaway because I work with Augs being not work with them, but I'm uh, sponsored by them. I'll end up doing a light bar giveaway. I don't know if I'm going to do it with the stickers or if I'm going to do it separately. But I'll, pro I'll probably just link it with the stickers. Uh, I'll probably do like a 50 inch light bar, uh, 32, uh, sevens, and then pods. And then like first place will get the 50 in pods, second place will get the 32, and then the uh, third place will get a set of the seven inch lights. They're all LEDs. So definitely let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Because all you. If I get enough money from sticker sales, I will definitely use that money towards a drift car or doing more uh, modifications to the uh, Avalanche. Because I want to do a, uh, like a stancy build on the Avalanche and then do a daily driver drift car type of build. That's why I'm looking at like the E36 M3s or I want to do a, uh, I want to import a S13 coupe with the SR20 red top in it. I found a few of them for sale from importers already. I just gotta get the money. So that's why I'm thinking of doing the sticker sales. Uh, and then Johnny, Nick and I might have some big plans in the future too coming up. So yeah, uh, I will throw information down in the, the description. Make sure you guys check that out. Like I said, if there's any companies watching this that have any connections to the parts I said I was looking to do on my truck, definitely hit me up on Instagram. I don't have a business email yet. I'll probably end up making one. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I know it's a little bit short of a video. I'll probably end up doing another one soon because NASCAR is doing a competition. So I'm going to try and enter into that. So definitely stay tuned for that video. Uh, it's a most view video. So if you guys see that, make sure you turn your notifications on so you know when I post. Uh, definitely stay tuned to the Instagram because I'll post about that and I'll probably talk to Orion about it to see if he'd be interested in help me out with that video. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment and have a good rest of your day.